Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim, Cowboy Tim. Listen, I'm out here cooking some chicken wings. I thought I had chicken tenders, but they're actually chicken wings. I gotta break them apart. I just put some, uh, I just spanked them with mama. What's it called? Where is that stuff? Right here. Slap your mama slash Aquanet. Don't get too close to it. It'll clog you, your windpipes up. It's got a lot of dust in it. Anyway, I wanted to share with you guys, uh, not my cooking video again, but I will, because you know I'm going to. But um, I'm sitting here, and two, two people, two people in the last 10 minutes, this guy right here with the fifth wheel, he come over, and this lady and her husband, she said she was 83, he probably a year or two older than her, he's got glaucoma, and he said he's going blind, but my doctor told me I'll go blind too if I live long enough. So maybe my left eye is one day going to be out of here. But um, I hope I live long enough to see that. Or uh, not see that, I should say. <laughs> anyway, um, they were both inquiring. The first guy, he built him one. Same size, 10 feet. And he was interested in the hinge out there on the lid about how to keep water from coming in. I guess he's got an issue with his. So he was looking mine over, very nice guy. He was in El Centro uh, over <coughs> in, in um, California, right before Yuma in the desert for the winter. And he's heading back to, um, well, that's his rig right there. And they're heading back to Canada. I told him about the Don Lofton uh, car museum that I couldn't show you guys because of the popular music. Oh my gosh, what a, he loves cars. He goes, I'm going there right now. So he went over there. So I referred him to that. And then this lovely lady, I, you know, the name sometimes, I'm so sorry, escaped me. But she pulled in, and she reminded me of my nanny, my grandmother, God rest her soul. She was grabbing my hand. She said, I'm proud of you, and I'm so happy for you, and I'm proud. She was so nice. Anyway, she says, what's in that? What do you got in there? <laughs> they were amazed at how small it looks, see, because I'm the smallest kid on the block. And two people, it's such a conversation piece. I know that other one, if I'd have bought it, would have been the same in a way. But this, I can see this thing from afar too, these roads that go way out here. You can see this parking lot uh, way out there. You probably can't see on the video, but there's a red light and a road. And you can see this little thing. It looks like a little tiny, and it is. So I, I shared with her and told her what it was and how the bed is so comfortable in there and the TV and air conditioning and furnace. And I got the kitchen out here and she just thought, I'm just so proud. Of you. I don't know why she kept saying that, but she was just a doll. So, um, I, uh, I gave her the, uh, I got to get some cards. Uh, Sarasota Tim is an easy name, but people are busy. Like I couldn't remember their names. We are bad about that. So I got to get some cards ASAP so I can hand them to people because I know they might forget. A lot of people just go ahead and Google it right there on their phone and subscribe. So those are those are okay. By the way, my new sharp knife is very sharp. <laughs> I opened up the uh, package of chicken. Now let's go ahead and see what we got here. I got some dishwater right there. Uh, let me turn the camera around and uh, show you what we're doing. Yeah, all right. We'll just put this lid right on this table here because we don't care. I don't think it does anything to it anyway. And I, I got some um, Sweet Baby Ray's. I thought I had chicken uh, tenders, but I actually bought these wings. And I got some Sweet Baby Ray's uh, barbecue sauce. That is still on. I don't know why my flame's not very high. Got somebody else coming up here. Just waved out and they're just driving by. So once the, uh, the fat starts melting, I'm sure we'll get some flame up. But these are going to be real good little snacks, right? Um, yeah, I got a flame going in there. Let's cover them up. And, uh, you know, you don't put the barbecue sauce on until they're almost done. Then you put that on so the meat will cook. But anyway, uh, just loving it here. He, went, I, I'd like to go see that car museum again. I, I wish there was a way I could upload that video and those Grand Canyon videos. You guys would have laughed your tails off at me climbing that trail. 
Uh, if you're new to my channel, there's a story that someone told me in the Grand Canyon. If you really want to see and feel how grand it is, walk down one of the trails just a little ways. And remember, every step you go down takes two steps to come back. And they weren't lying. So um, I went down, and I went down a long ways, longer than I should have. And I had a hard time getting back. And not too tough. I'm not crying here. It was fun. But I was stopping and taking breaths, uh, taking breaks and uh, making little videos for you guys and talking about it and laughing at myself. And I just know you would have enjoyed that video. I, I had a good time doing it. it. Just burns me up that I can't. Uh, they, they make us have a permit uh, to put national park videos on YouTube, even if you don't monetize it. In other words, that's, a, that's what they call when you put it on there to make money, you know, to, to actually receive revenue from YouTube. If I were to put it on there on a, um, on a platform like that, it's still not going to work. Uh, they still don't want it because you're showing. They don't care whether you're getting paid or not. Well, they do, but they don't because now you're, um, you know, you're doing it on a platform where, you know, I'm not going to chance it anyway, but I've already been through. There's the most recent videos actually talk about, oh, you don't have to worry about that someone's calling some spam every time somebody calls you with the same area code as you have it's uh hey you want to buy an extended warranty on your car or you got medicare or some kind of spam they're not scams well they are but they're not they're just solicitors so anyway that lady she just loved this truck and this little setup right here um i told her what i do and i'm traveling around living life she goes good for you keep at it she was just a doll i hope she watches the channel her husband was real nice he was sitting over there in the passenger seat they were driving a brand spanking new hyundai sonata and uh it was a good looking car too i've had three of those at least but anyway i'm just out here having a good time again uh, i do have me an old duel somewhere around here I uh, know I said I wasn't going to buy anymore, but you can't believe the damn thing I say because I'm just having a good time. And uh, those Diet Cokes will just keep you awake and they ain't half good for you anyway. About as good for you as these O'Doul's are probably. Hey, look, here comes my limo. I'm over here. Pick me up. That's an old school one there. <laughs> You're looking over here. So yeah, they raised their rent on us here, but hey, what are you gonna do? $75 a week is pretty cheap. They went up $25, so that's another uh, hundo a month. But where are you gonna live for, uh, what is that, $300 a month? They'll allow you to stay here a month. Then you can leave for a day, I think that's the way it goes, and then you can come back, do it again. I mean, what do they care how long you're here if you're not causing any trouble and you know, you're paying your money. You get that little yellow tag right there. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be great. Another beautiful evening. The sun is out. It's kind of warm feeling. Look at this view I got over here. Look at that. Here comes my limo. I told you my limo was showing up. Look at this. Wow, I think they're living in it. It says not for hire in the back. It had all kinds of uh, bags and stuff stuffed in it. Yeah, I think you're living in it. Check that out. Beautiful view. Zoom in on these casinos for you for a second. And then we'll come on over here. Look way out there at those mountains. Look at this guy coming in with his big Montana fifth wheel, dual axle. He's living life, look at that. All right, we'll look back over here. This is my favorite view right here. That's looking towards Vegas and the residential area of Laughlin is kind of this way. All right, here's another one joining the group. Coming in. 
Pulling it on in. They come and go every day. Some stay a day, some stay a week, some stay a couple days. Let's check on this chicken. Oh yeah. Better get that. Better get that sauce out soon. I sure appreciate those that are living vicariously through me that are wanting to do something similar to this uh, one day soon or in a few years when uh, you do get your social security. Uh, I've read all the comments. Uh, they're so kind and people are just really uh, agreeing and, and loving the, uh, the life that you can live like this. It's a, a modest but a free and fun life just going and doing and meeting people and seeing things. It's always got a little fire right there. But uh, I'll put the lid on. Okay, they're cooking slowly and good. They'll get brown. They'll get there. This little grill's cool. It's the uh, Expert Grill from Walmart. You can get them for 30 bucks, I think it is. And uh, any of these same kind. You see what I've done? I bought the extension hose that goes to the propane right here. How you doing? What's your dinner? Oh, man, we got chicken wings. Oh, got plenty right. of them. Come join me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we got some in the fifth wheel, too. Thank oh, welcome here. That's a, that Montana you just came in? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice rig. Thank you. Thank you. You just well, go into the desk here and get it from in? Yeah, you go right up to the front desk. It's 75 a week. Okay. Just went up $25 two days ago. Still a good deal. A Fifteen a night. All right, gave them all the information. They're on their way. So um, I got this hose here. I can move this way out, and I'm using my bottle instead of those little bitty bottles you buy. And I cannot wear this bottle out. Look, look what it says. Still full. I've used the grill. I've used the stove. I've used the furnace. It won't go down. And I still have two more, and I'm using one now for the generator uh, to charge the Blue Eddy and to, you know, if I want to watch TV or run the air conditioning in the trailer, uh, I've been using this one. This one's untouched still. And you can fill them uh, right over here in um, Bullhead City. But tomorrow we're going to um, um, Oatman, and we're going to see some cowboy country, cowboy town, uh, wild burrows donkeys whatever they call them and there's gunfights and hopefully they'll they'll be doing some of that while uh tim and i are there we're gonna ride over there together he'll be here in the morning i've got all new bacon and eggs and hash browns you guys saw the walmart shopping video all ready to go i got some paper towels and uh, look at how all my clothes they cleaned up and uh, look at how they folded my sock. Look at that way they folded them. Uh, this people over there at uh, B's Laundromat is A-OK -okay with me in Laughlin. B-E-E. -E. And uh, the Dometic's doing good. Got the stuff in there. Got my senior salad. Might have to to make that. Well, by the way, remember I got this turkey? It's, it's um, what's that? It's called a... Uh, 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 tomato, to, uh, roasted tomato, uh, what's it called? Something or another. Remember when I was shopping, the lady said, you want to try this? It was um, some kind of tomato-based flavored turkey. Really good. Yeah, I got my boots on. I'm out here kicking it. I might take them off and put on my work boots. Got my black pants on, a little dressed up. Maybe I'll go out tonight and hear some music or something in one of the casinos. I know they got bands that play late, but you know I don't know my name after 8 p.m. I'm in the bed. And then again, I'm up at 3 in the morning, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting old. Let's see what this chicken's doing now. And then uh, we'll uh, end the video. And I'll come back when I get some barbecue sauce on them. Oh, these are those good little wingettes. I really like them. These are my favorite kind right there. That one's cooking good. That one's cooking good. Let's move these, these little legs right here. 
So you get 50-50. There's 50 uh, legs and 50 uh, wingettes, I guess you call them. See that brown they're getting on them now? Mmm. Yeah, it's going to be a fun little appetizer, chicken wings. Can't go wrong. Put that one right in there. Yeah, I might take these boots off and uh, put them away. Sure like them. I read your comments. Uh, a few of you liked the distress boot better or you liked them, and I love those. I did. I really did. I wish I had them and these instead of the uh, work boots, but I've already bought them. And it is what it is. So here's all my new britches in here. I got four pair. I got uh, a second pair of black and two pair of blue. And uh, they're called Cody jeans from uh, Boot Barn. There's Boot Barn right there. And then I got all my, my cowboy shirts. I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm bragging or whatever. I'm just excited about uh, dressing up a little bit like a cowboy out here in the West. Feeling good. I got these things here. Everything I own it. I'm making some chicken wings out here. I'm easy to please. All I need is me a sweet little thing right now and give me some sugar. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, everybody. I'm just kidding. But there's somebody out there. Some cute little thing somewhere. I'll run across her. She might be back down there in Florida waiting on me. But, uh, of course, if you join up with somebody, all this has to go away because this is not this is not anything for two people. This is strictly a cowboy rig right here. A rodeo tour. <laughs> now I'd have to get out the crasher and get everything comfortable for the lady. Ballet. He's really getting it on that thing. There's the bike uh, hidden down in there, believe it or not. Got to get mine out. Going to be here a few days, so I might as well break everything back out. These are about ready for some uh, barbecue sauce. So let me get that going, and I'll get back to you guys. We're definitely sitting here crushing it. All right, let me show you what I've done here so far. I did the other side already. I brought this with me, thank goodness. I put a little dollop of Sweet Baby Ray's on each one. And then I just kind of dress them a little bit. Give them a little tap, tap, tappy. Make them happy. Make that one a little bit more happy. See there? Just keep tapping them, making them happy. Mm -mm -mm. I'll definitely get these brown and tacky and good. Now this was $5 at Walmart. Someone told me the other day, or Today I read it, that that steak that I didn't cook for a week actually made it more tender. Um, letting it sit in the cooler like I did. And it didn't, it just aged it more. The, the person sounded like a, a butcher who knew what they were talking about. That was good to know. It was darn good cowboy steak. I'll buy another one after I eat all this. I forgot these were wings. Like I said, I thought I had tenders. I was going to cook those up. These are just as good. So now we'll just let those get nice and tacky and a little bit more done. I got the heat down a little bit lower. We'll cover them. And then when it's done, I'll crush it. 